Now, the House of Representatives has urged President Bola Tinubu to immediately set up a judicial panel of inquiry to investigate the recent attacks on prisons across Nigeria. The goal is to ensure that such assault on the country's security apparatus do not recur. Furthermore, the House has mandated its committees on interior and reformatory institutions to interface with relevant federal agencies. The aim is to establish threat management protocols for correctional centers nationwide and collect data on inmates by enrolling them in the National Identity Number System. Officials are not properly trained to be impromptu and confrontational making it very difficult to repel such attacks, hence the need to put in place upgraded freedom facilities with better security armed guards, walls, perimeter fences and solid gates, and the installation of modern equipment to easily detect security breaches and cover further attacks. Worry that the grave implication of the jailbreak is the fact that the criminals have returned to society and their refusal to go back to prison indicate that they will continue to perpetrate more atrocities, leading to the further breakdown of security across the country. Now, the Green Chamber urged the Federal Ministry of Education, in collaboration with state ministries, to conduct a comprehensive review of the curriculum across all educational levels. Now, the goal is to align the curriculum with evolving global market demands emphasizing the development of critical thinking, problem solving, digital literacy and adaptability skills. Nigeria's traditional curriculum for primary and secondary schools faces challenges compared to advanced nations. While it equips students with knowledge, it prioritizes root learning over practical skills like critical thinking and problem solving, which are very crucial in current labor markets. The curriculum might have a stronger focus on national subjects, potentially limiting exposure to global perspectives necessary to navigate the intercontinental world. It often falls short in A, developing critical thinking and problem solving, B, equipping graduates with industry relevant skills. We on the federal government to provide adequate funding for Nigeria's education sectors. Additionally, the House has urged the Federal Ministry of Education to review and implement strict policies to improve educational standards at all levels nationwide. So is facing a continuous decline in standards due to poor funding, inadequate facilities, insufficient teachers, corruption, insecurity, poor supervision, poor policy implementation, and poor attitudes towards schoolwork. While the rise of social media has exposed young children to unsupervised orientation, leading to misplaced priorities and neglect of schoolwork. Worried that the Nigerian school system is plagued with numerous school vices, such as education malpractices, courtism, hooliganism, and corruption. The House taxed the Committee on Renewable Energy to investigate government ministries, departments and agencies involved in investing, procuring and receiving grants for the renewable energy sector from 2015 to the present. The Committee must report its findings within four weeks for potential legislative action. The House knows that electricity is a critical factor in the economic and social development of every nation. The House recalls that in December 2023, the World Bank approved $750 million facility to boost renewable energy in Nigeria, with the objective of providing over 17.5 million Nigerians with improved access to electricity through distributed to renewable energy solutions. 